Hi, this is Led here from SWBFGamers.com. We're a group that plays the original Star Wars Battlefront. And uh, there's uh, some questions lately about using Star Wars Battlefront in widescreen mode for widescreen monitors. It's hard to buy a 4x3 format monitor. And that's the, the default setting for the original Star Wars Battlefront. And so let's uh, see how we can take care of that for wide screens. So we're going to go to the website, swbfgamers.com. We're going to log in. You create an account to download files, but it's free. It's easy to do. We're going to go to the Downloads area. And uh, we're going to come down here to BattleBelk Tools and Mods. BattleBelk was a modder for the original Battlefront. And we're going to click on the Custom Resolution Launcher and download it. I'll go ahead and save that and I'm going to copy that and put it on my desktop. You need a RAR extractor to uncompress this but we'll, we'll do that. I've already extracted it so it's sitting there and I'm going to open this up and we need three files out of this. The readme which explains uh, what's going on in this file, uh, the launcher and the launcher.ini file. I'm going to take those three files and we're going to copy them into your Battlefront game folder. Okay, so here it is right here. I've already done this, so I'm copying and replacing. You will need administrator privileges in order to, to do this. Um, now, uh, there's a file here swbf1launcher.ini. We're going to need to edit that and if we edit it in this folder Windows will complain because they won't let you save it so I'm going to go and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this to my desktop and I'm going to edit the one on my desktop and then copy it into this folder. Now in order for this to show up uh, I'm going to have to use this in windowed mode and you might want to do this anyway. So I'm going to add a command to this slash win. You can also add a command no frame lock that will uncap the frame rate for the original Star Wars Battlefront. It's a little glitchy sometimes so I don't like to use it that way. So I'm just going to save this, I'm saving it to my desktop. We need to figure out what resolution to use in this file. In order to do that we first need to launch uh, Battlefront. Let me copy this in here. If I don't copy this into windowed mode, it won't show up in my uh, recording software. So I'm going to start up Battlefront using the launcher. I need to use this swbf1launcher.exe, the new file that we just uh, copied in. So it's going to launch. And you see it's in kind of a, a windowed mode. We can resize it. It'll show up in this size initially. We'll select this. And we're going to join a game. There are still people that play Battlefront these days, even uh, in the year 2016. The game is more than 10 years old now, but it has a, has a great following still. And you see the resolutions be re been resized in this window to be uh, what was shown in that file. Let me go to first person mode. Okay, So you see this is uh, a pretty good aspect ratio. Okay, I'm going to quit this. Let me show you where the vidmode.ini file is. Now in the readme file it says it's in data, level PC, and it should show up right here. But with Windows 7 and beyond it likes to put these files in a separate place based on the user of the computer. And so let me uh, find that folder over here. Here it is. We need to go into users. That's a username, app data, local virtual store, program files, x86, LucasArts, Star Wars, Battlefront, game data, data, level PC, and there's the vidmode.ini file. I'm going to open that up with WordPad, with Notepad, and these are the different screen resolutions that you can use based on your video card. Your video card will be different than mine, so you may have different numbers here, uh, but these are some different ones. So this is a 4x3 format, 1920 by 1080 we can check that if we go into our calculator 1920 divided by 1080 
is equal to 1.77 and uh, that's in the same proportion is uh, 16 by 9 all right. So if we want a widescreen format, we want to select one of these. Not all of these modes are widescreen. Some of them are not. For example, 800 by 600 is the original 4 by 3 format. Okay, so what you want to do then is you want to go back to your desktop, open up this swbf1launcher.ini file, and put in the numbers here. So 19, 20, whoops, 19, 20 by 1080. Save that, and now I'm going to take it. I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste this file. into my game data folder where my launcher is. All right. Oops. I hit, meant to hit continue there. All right. Now, one other thing, you may not see the extensions on these files. So let me show you how to show extensions. We're going to go to organize, folder and search options, view, you want to make sure that you display the full path in the title bar, show hidden files and folders, and uh, display uh, uncheck hide extensions for known file types. All right. We want to make sure that is unchecked so it looks just like these options. That way you can see the extensions on these without having just all these look uh, like they don't have any .exe or .ini after them. All right. So that will help me uh, show these files. Let's go ahead and launch Battlefront again. I'm going to launch it again from the, the launcher in here. I'm going to show you another trick that you can use. Again, it doesn't show up in 1080p yet, but it will. I'll jump into this game. There's a bunch of people here. Okay, so now we're at full screen, and my window for my bandy cam is only showing part of it. So here I am. Right. And if that still looks a little squished to you, what you can do is you can press Alt Tab. Grab the game window, because we're in windowed mode. And you can resize it to have a better aspect ratio that you might want. Okay, so now he looks a little bit uh, skinnier. And you can take this to the extreme if you want. You can really move this over and uh, make him look really skinny. So you can do this in windowed mode. So I just hit Alt Tab and then grab the edge of the screen and move it around. All right, hope you found this useful. We still play Battlefront. We still have uh, events going on. There's still people that mod for this game. So if you like the original Star Wars Battlefront, please join us at swbfgamers.com.